York's classic rock, Q1043. Sorry, I got to run outside real quick and do something. I know I'm supposed to produce, but... Um, That's Trevor speaking, yes. yes. I'm just going to give you guys some help while I'm gone real quick. What do you, He just clicked on to oh, a monitor. Oh, Joe! It's our Good morning. Joe is on Zoom. Hello, Joe. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. I don't, I don't know if you've been able to listen on the iHeartRadio app in Toronto, where you are at all this morning, but in the listener memories that people have been submitting, your name is in a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was around for 16 years. Yes, I know, but people miss you. I want you to know that you're missed. Well, I miss them. And, I, and there are some people who reach out to me on social media, and it's great to always speak to you. So please, you know, hunt me down, link to me through Jim, Shelly, whatever, and say hi. I'm always happy to talk. And you produce a morning show in Toronto now. I do at News Talk 1010, which is part of the iHeartRadio family. But, but it, yes, but I it's can like listen. One but of it, the most important stations in all of Canada. It's a huge job. It's the biggest news talk station in the entire country. And it's the network for a lot of the stations in other markets here. Yeah, it's a big deal. You left us and went to some big deal <laughs> job in another country. And I had to <laughs> learn a lot when I got there. <laughs> well, maybe you could come back to the United States someday and explain ranked choice voting to us. Oh my God. Uh, but, <laughs> but anyway, it's 707 and we just played uh, Fat Bottom Girls and we were talking about Dr. Brian May and uh, Dr. May during one of his visits here and you were here that morning. Remember, we have guitars hanging on the wall here. Yeah. And uh, every guitar, Big E's in the studio, every guitar is signed by a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Correct. right? Except for the one that Peter Max painted. Right, which is a different thing yes. altogether. Which is right. worth more than the rest all put together. <laughs> yes, yes. Sure. But but every one of the guitars that's signed by a rock star is signed by a rock star that's in the Hall of Fame. And Brian May was outside the studio door just looking at guitars on the wall, and he pulled one off. Just so, pulled it off the wall. It, that was a really cool moment because you were you were on the air and we had Brian in, you know, outside the studio and we're just hanging out and he's sitting there and he says, guitars are not meant to hang on the wall. They're meant right. to be played. And he took down the Tony Iommi signed one. He says, oh, I know Tony. And then he takes it and he starts playing it. Well, Jeff, the engineer, he thought to go run down the hallway to the engineering room and grab an amplifier. And he brought it back. So Brian it, it was a tiny little play. dinky, tiny <laughs> little dinky amplifier. But it was the coolest moment because then now here's Brian May holding a guitar and wailing Queen songs on it while we're just waiting to go on the air with you. And this is what it sounded like. Brian May took a guitar off the wall mm -hmm. and he's... Yeah. He said the guitar needs love. Oh, Guitars really? need to be played. He yeah, was, he, he was he was he was <laughs> tuning right? it. He said this guitar is out of tune. The guitar needs love. This is not just a guitar. This is a Tony Iommi guitar that I found. See, which is beautiful. It's right-handed. It can't be authentic because you know? <laughs> Tony doesn't play right-handed. Yeah, but he signed it when he was here. But it's beautiful. Yes, yeah, so I picked it on. I had to tune it, and there it is. And if I press this button. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there you go. That's a guitar. Like guitars in the morning. With a tiny little amp. Oh, tiny little amp. That's awesome. Tiny little oh, amp. That one, of, that, one of, that one of our engineers, Jeff, just brought in. A little, I mean, a little tiny, dinky little. It's a very small. Little amps are good because you can drive them hard. Yeah, I like that. Okay. What should we do now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great time, Joe. 
I'm glad to see that my memories are all still there. <laughs> I got well, all of that right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this 25th birthday for Q104.3. You, of course, Joe, were a big part of it. You were already here when we joined the station. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, to be honest, let's see, July 1st, 1996 is when Q104.3 became a classic rock station. I had just recently weeks before been fired from uh, what was then known as mix 105. And I was replaced by a new morning team that was uh, edgier and funnier and more controversial than me, Kelly and Klein. And uh, so I was out of work. Who? <laughs> <laughs> so I was out of work and, and, and Q104.3 became a classic rock station. And I turned it on and I said, that's where I belong. That's where I belong. And it only took me six years from that day to convince them to hire me. But they eventually did. Took six years, but they did. <laughs> and I remember what an important part of uh, making it all work you were, Joe. Well, thank you. I had every major part of my life came through that radio station. I grew up at Q104.3, so it, it's always going to be with me. Look. No, not that the oh, listeners can ah, see it. But yeah, I'm he's wearing, wearing his Q104.3 <laughs> shirt. Uh, have you met Trevor, our producer? Your I have. Successor? We've spoken to several times. Okay. All right. Well, because because we tell him lots and lots of Grumpy Joe's stories. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lots and lots of them. <laughs> hey, Jim, can I ask Joe one question? Yes. Hey, Joe, it's Big E. Hey. What should I do with the outstanding warrants? <laughs> they don't travel across the, the border. The, the, the real reason you went to Canada. Come on, <laughs> be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and sorry about your Canadians. Uh, I know. Well, maybe they'll pull it around. It's only two games. There's still, you know, four more to go if they win one. All right. And give our best wishes to your good friend, uh, Justin. Yes, yes. I'm still waiting to take that selfie with him. Okay. <laughs> Justin Trudeau. Uh, of course. Yeah, of okay. Course. All right. See you, Joe. Bye. Bye Joe. New York's classic rock, Q1043.